and welcome back to another Mr. Harris RYC YouTube channel. Um, I got a little different outfit on today. I want you to check it out. All right, it's very colorful. Matter of fact, can you get all this in there? We seeing it, man. We seeing it. We getting yep. it. We getting it. It's perfect. Let me tell you what this is. We're doing a little tour this summer around the 17 Sustainable Development Goals that came out of the United Nations. And some of you guys heard me talk about. It. I got a chance to speak at the UN. What a great honor to do that. But I learned something. I learned about these SDGs, and this is when all these countries from all over the world came together and said, "Hey, we got to do better." You know, whether it's education, whether it's poverty, whether it's like, you know, uh, what's happening in the water, on the land, it's you know, our missions. There's tons of things for us to get involved in. So we're doing a little tour this summer with the MWAM band. We wrote a song called "Let's Work Together." So please go to the website, um, Let's Work Together SDG.com. And, you know, pledge a project, you know, here we, we're doing, we're planting trees, we're cleaning up beaches here. Um, <laughs> we're concerned about dog poop in our in front of our buildings. Choose something in your neighborhood and, and, you know, where you are. And you can't worry about the world in its entirety, but how can I just change the little part where I live at? So I keep saying global problems, local solutions, right? So check this out, support us, support yourself, support this planet, all right? Cool. Thank you for that. Um, who we got today, Rick? Today we have Roland Abante. Roland, Roland! We like Roland. Yeah, okay, great, great, great. All right, so what we got from Roland today? So we have him doing a Michael Bolton cover called To Love Somebody. Now, I can tell you right now, I think I might've commented when I said, I talked about Roland, because there's a desperation in his voice because whenever Michael Bolton sings, well, let's see. Let me, let me see if he's doing it as well. Because Michael Bolton, I don't care what note he's saying. It could be a low note. Love me. It's almost like, man, he, that's all he can do. But he just keeps going out. Love but he always has this desperation in, a, in his voice. So I'm seeing if Roland, I'm curious, Roland, was Roland able to, let's see if Roland was able to get that happening, man. Yeah, let's hear this. Um, yeah, I will hear this. There's a love Wish 1075 Certain kind of love that Never shown on me I want my life to be To live with you To live with you There's a way Everybody says to do it and every little thing, but what good does it bring if I ain't got to? I ain't got you, baby. Maybe you don't know what it's like, baby. Will I see your face again? I know you're free of mind. You ain't got to be so blind, and I'm blind, so very blind. I'm a man. Can't you see what I am?
the runs he does. Ooh, yeah, yeah. You don't know what it's like. And baby, you don't know what it's like. To love somebody. To love somebody. To love somebody. You just don't know. Yeah, okay. The last song he did, Rick. What was the last song? Do you remember? Uh, I'm putting you on the spot, right? It, it wasn't when a man loves somebody, right? I think it was when a man loves a woman. That's what I'm saying. When a man loves a woman, was that it? I believe so. All right, because um, I, as as the whole time he's singing, that's all I could hear. <laughs> he's singing a whole nother song. I'm still hearing when a man loves a woman, yep. right? Yep. Ah oh, man, this song. I, I didn't. I didn't know this song by Michael Bolton. Are you? Have you no, heard this? No, this is my first time hearing this one. Okay, so this wasn't one of Michael Bolton's top ten, right? So I, I wonder what made him choose this song, right? Um, so it's hard for me to tell, you know, how good of a job he did on this song from the original song, because I'm not as familiar. I'm not familiar with it. Period. I don't think I don't know if I've ever heard it before. Um, but he still has that desperation in his voice. I could tell. I could tell that a Michael Bolton could have sung a song like this. Um, now let me let, let me say this. Let me let me. Let, first of all, this is this older. This is a little bit older. Okay, because yeah. he looks younger there mm -hmm. um, than in the last video that we saw. Um, um, yeah, he it looked like he's you know a little, little, little younger. I, I liked it, but I don't know. The other song is a stronger song, um, and. He's got this gift, man. This, this like. I, but it's funny. He has this gift. It's like having a another superpower. I, I always say when singers do something that's amazing, like if I sit here and do this all day, right? It gets too, it's too much. <laughs> At some point, I gotta like. I gotta slow it down, right? So at some point, I would have liked, cause I felt like through the whole song, he was giving me his pain, right? Even when his verses which was pain, I would have liked to have heard like a story being told without the pain, then give me the pain. So it's almost like why you have the pain, you know what I'm saying? Like, but what does that do for us as a consumer, as a listener? It gives us a chance to have the ebbs and flows of the song. So like, you know, you give me da, 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 whatever you're gonna say, but then da, 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 right? You break it back down, and the story comes along, and I'm telling you, this is why I lost my shoe. And da, 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 da. I would have liked to have heard some of that. Um, I feel like a lot of it was just a lot of the strong stuff. And I'm gonna tell you something. Um, that's tough on the voice. Because when he's singing like that, it's what we call a growl. That growl hurts a little bit. It's, it's uncomfortable. I put it, I wouldn't say it hurts, it's uncomfortable. And if you do that for a long time and you had to sing two or three songs back to back, yikes. Um, it's probably not gonna happen. You know, unless this is like something. I'm curious. Oh, I got questions. Y'all know I got questions. What is his speaking voice like? I want to hear it, um, and I guess I could kind of Google, but I have you guys to help me. You guys are the best helpers on the planet. Like, can you put some links in? I just want to hear what he talks like. Does his voice sound raspy when he speaks? So that that's the sound of his voice, and then I mean he would have to be taught how to 
um, give a smoother sound if he wanted to have both. Um, or maybe it's, his voice is damaged and where he can't do that. I don't, I don't know. But I like to hear some of his speaking voice so I can just have my own little hypothesis behind that. Um, and then I like to hear him, I like to hear him do, I want to do another song with him. I want to hear another song with him. Like uh, something that's more popular, you know, um, um, than the song we just heard. But on that same vibe of when a man loves a woman. Right? When you hear that song, everybody knows it. And he did a great job on that song, you know. Um, so to the point where I saw like a year when he was singing this song. Um, and, and is there another flow to him? Like, does he do like um, up tempo music? You know, um, is he venturing out into that? Um, it's just some, you know, because um, he definitely got soul. And I like his runs, boy. Da -da, da -da, hey. I like when he does those kind of reflection runs. It, it's natural. He's not trying to do it. It's just like, this is how I end my sentences, y'all. Um, I love that when he does that. He, he's got that mastered too. Like, he's got a lot of really good things going for him, Rick, as a vocalist. Um, he just, we, he just got to sing songs that require that kind of like, ah, you know, or being able to flip both. Like, that's all, that's the only thing I'm caught up on. Um, but, um, good job. I'd like to hear something else. If you guys can please recommend something else that's, Two things, actually, a song that's on the same lines of when a man loves a woman. I want to hear. I want to hear him hit that out the park again. A song like that. But then, is there? I want to hear a different reflection of his voice. Something that's probably not so, um, not so painful, not so aggressive. Um, that shows a different tone for him. Um, I, I'd like to hear that as well. Um, but yeah, Rick, this is. Um, this was. You, did you pick this or they? Um, uh, a few people put it in the comments. In the comments. Yep. Yeah, I love the comments. Um, yeah, so keep it coming. Appreciate it. Um, what else can I say except for Wish does it again? <laughs> you know, I, I, but when they do this, you know what it says? Never like a big audience in the street. Yeah, I, I've noticed. Sometimes you'll see a crowd of like 30 people, but usually it's just like two or three people walking around in the background. But you would think for, I don't know how big he was during this time, like it should be more than three people outside filming, which is probably his uncle, his grandpa, and, and his auntie, right? Um, but you would think, maybe they don't, I don't know, they, they can see inside. You can see inside. I do know sometimes the bus actually goes on the road, so then they just pull off uh, on the Oh, so that's a bus? Yeah, it's a real bus. Oh, yeah, it's a real bus. I didn't yeah. know that. I didn't know that, but that was an actual studio that... And they have one here in the U.S. as well, a Wish bus. There. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, next time it's in our area, man, we gotta go stand outside and be that mm -hmm. beetle three that's outside. Yeah. <laughs> but, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, let, let us know when it's gonna be here, man. All right, listen, thank you guys for tuning in and make sure you subscribe if you haven't, share it with a friend. Um, always in parting, make sure you love yourself, love yourself, love yourself. Um, and then whatever love you have left over, share it with someone else. All right. Um, see you guys soon. Appreciate you tuning in. Thank you.